Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install or excavation in Minecraft 1.13.2. Or excavation is actually a really cool mod allowing you to cut down entire trees, mine out huge veins like let's say an entire vein of coal for example by just mining one block. It is very very helpful and it's basically vein miner under a different name. Vein miner is what people knew way back in the day. Vein miner I don't think has been updated as much recently but or excavation is here to save the day. As you can see, mine entire ore veins, cut down whole trees, bulk harvest, slash excavate almost anything, and it works out of the box, but you can also do configuration up here. It talks about that. So yeah, it is a very, very configurable mod, similar to Vein Miner, and today we're going to be getting installed. First off, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, get an awesome 24-hour DDoS protected server running Paper Spigot, running Bucket, running Forge, running Mod, running over 20 mod packs. I think it's actually might be close to 50 mod packs now. They have a ton of mod packs that can be installed in just one click. We love Apex so much we actually host our own server on them. Play.breakdowncraft.com So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex again to get an awesome 24 hour DLC protected server for just a few bucks a month. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get Ore Excavation installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and it will take you here where you want to click on the earlier versions tab. You see that? Click on earlier versions here and it will take us over to here where we want to make sure we are downloading or excavation for 1.13.2 see that 1.13.2 we want to make sure it does say that and if it does we can go ahead and click on this orange download button it will then take us off where the download will begin in three two one counting down there we go now on most little Firefox this will happen it'll pull up in the center of your screen now on Google Chrome it's in the bottom left of your screen down here in the bottom left either way you need to click save file on Mozilla Firefox there we go on Google Chrome you need to keep the file and that is 100% safe to do as long as it ends in dot jar we're not done downloading yet though we need to go to the third link down below and that will take you here which is our complete guide on downloading and installing forge but I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video so all you need to do is click on the green download button here it will then take us off to Forge's official website where once everything loads on the page we can go ahead and make sure that this is Minecraft version 1.13.2 which we can see right here it is MC 1.13.2 and then on top of that we can go ahead and see the installer button here see that so as long as you're on 1.13.2 all you want to do is click on the installer button it will then go ahead take us off to add focus where we have to wait six seconds and don't click anything on this page stop it don't click anything no don't click anything on this page the only thing you want to click on this page period stop don't click anything the only thing you want to click is in the top right that red skip button up there don't click on any other download buttons or anything just click on that red skip button in the top right right like so then it'll come up and again on Google Chrome it's gonna be in the bottom left right here it is on Mozilla Firefox front and center but you want to make sure that it starts with forge and ends with dot jar if it does you can go ahead and click keep on Google Chrome and go ahead and click save on Mozilla Firefox if it doesn't you just need to click that red skip button again you most likely accidentally clicked another download button on the page but now if we go ahead and minimize our browser on our desktop we have two things we have or excavation right here and we have forge 1.13.2 if these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Just click on the button in the top left of my screen. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that in the bottom left down there, and it will open up this, your start menu. And then we want to go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. And you should have a downloads folder here. Go ahead and drag or excavation and forward from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we need to actually get started with Forge. So go ahead and right click on Forge, and then click on the open with button here. And then it should go ahead and open this like thing where we need to choose what we want to open Forge with. If you have Java T and Platform SE Binary, go ahead and click that and click OK. But what if you don't have Java T and Platform SE Binary? What if it fails and it doesn't open Forge? What do you do? Well, that is where we have tutorials for you. You go to the description of this video and go to this link right here. This is our link on how to download and install the Java SE Development Kit. This is going to walk you through the entire process of downloading the Java SE Development Kit, which is needed for not only Forge, but Optifine and any other Minecraft mods you want to run. You will need the Java Development Kit here, and this walks you through exactly how to get it. Now, if you install the Java Development Kit and it's still not working, then you need to come over here and run the JarFix, also linked in the description down below. This walks you through how to run the JarFix. You can download 
download the jar fix right here go through the process of getting it set up it's basically just download a program and run it but this tutorial does walk you through how to do that and then you will finally be able to come back over here to our forward file right click on it click on open with and then click on java tm platform sc binary there and click ok then we'll have this handy forge installer open where you want to click on install client and click ok it'll then go through download install setup forge in 1.13.2 and eventually you'll see forge profile successfully installed and uh, we'll just do a jump cut to that. There we go. As you can see, successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.13.2. If it doesn't work, you need to go run vanilla Minecraft 1.13.2, meaning no mods installed, no anything installed, just run plain old Minecraft 1.13.2, come back and you'll be able to install forge. Now let's go ahead and click OK. And now it's time to get Ore Excavation installed. Again, we want to click on the top left of my screen, the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows button there. And then you want to type in run, R-U-N. You should then have the run desktop app here and in the run desktop app we want to go ahead and type percent app data percent percent app data percent exactly like that now we can go ahead and click ok and it will open up this the roaming folder here in our roaming folder we want to go ahead and find dot minecraft and then we should have a mods folder but nick what if we don't have a mods folder what do we do well don't freak out all you want to do is right click and create a new folder right like so and then you want to title this folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that now once you've got your newly created mods folder open it up and then we just need to take or excavation from our desktop here and drag it into our mods folder it's that simple once you've got or excavation in your mods folder it is time to go ahead and open up our minecraft launcher so if we go here go ahead double click on minecraft it'll open up the minecraft launcher now stop don't go ahead and click play you need to come here next to the play button you should have a little green arrow click on that and then find the forge profile here click on that and click play but if you don't have a forge profile what do you do well click the little three lines up here in the top right click on launch options and then we need to click on add new now you can name this whatever you want i'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com why would i do that oh that's because that is the best minecraft 1.13.2 grief protected survival server in the multiverse play.breakdowncraft.com it is our own server it has jobs it has crate keys it has ranks it has all of the awesome stuff you want and it is 100% grief protected over 50 players online and actually more over 75 players online 24 7 now absolutely incredible come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com now once you've quit and checked out the server you can come down here in a version right here where it says version you want to click on that and then you want to select 1.13.2-forge now if you do happen to have multiple ones just click on the one with the highest number at the end here in my case that is going to be 44 so let's go ahead and click on that i'm going to change my resolution that is not something you have to do but it is just something i do so you can be able to see once we get in game now we can go ahead and click save come back over to news click the little green arrow next to the play button select the profile we created play breakdowncraft.com and then go ahead and click play now forge will open up in 1.13.2 with or excavation installed now on your first startup it might actually take a while to open up here because because Forge is just running basically a completely custom underbelly of Minecraft that can be completely customized and changed and all that stuff. So it does take a while to open up, especially the first time. And it might look like it's crashed or something like that, but it has it. It will eventually open up just like so. Once we've got Minecraft open here, we will be able to see that the mods tab has or excavation on it and there we go we're on the main menu so we can go ahead and click on mods and there is or excavation it is installed we can also go into options here and then we can go into controls and we'll be able to scroll i believe down to the bottom and see the or excavation keys here so we can come in here into controls again that was just options and then we want to go into controls and scroll all the way down to the bottom and here is our excavate key so i'm going to go ahead and change that to something i don't know a little weird to be honest let's go ahead and do like caps lock i guess and then we can go ahead and click done now we go ahead and jump in game all right there we go we can join in the world and boom here we are now we need to go ahead and do game mode survival well actually real quick before we do that let me go ahead and just get like a diamond pickaxe diamond pickaxe there we go and then i'm gonna dig down until we get to down here and i'm gonna just kind of dig until i find some ores really quick so give me one quick second so here we have some iron now we set our excavation key as caps lock so we should be able to go ahead click caps lock and it should mine all of that 
and there we go. Just like that, it mines all of that iron in one click. Uh, does it do diorite? Sometimes they'll do like diorite and stone, sometimes they won't. Yeah, but that is something you can definitely configure there. So we can go ahead and find some coal. Go ahead and do the same thing there. It's going to take it a second. And, oh, it actually didn't work with that coal. Oh, I was pressing the wrong button. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I pressed the right button that time. Boom. So as you can see, over 64 coal from that one mine there. So our excavation is now installed, is now set up. Oh, and we can actually see over here, we've got even more coal. Then we go ahead and press caps lock. There we go. Boom. So that is actually really, really cool. It is a little buggy right now as far as lag goes. A little bit of lag happening. Not going to lie. But that is just part of, you know, I mean, this mod came out like two days ago. So there you go. That is how you can use it. That is how you can set it up. And I hope you do enjoy or excavation. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And I am out. Peace.